Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and I'm so glad that you guys are joining me because today we are doing final prep of my 2024 planners. So when I go to use them during the year, it will be really easy for me to set up my Franken planners and just get the planners prepped for the following month. So for my new viewers, welcome. My returning viewers, welcome back. Hope you guys enjoy this. Um, so we're going to jump into... Um, not only updating my reading journal with some pages, but I want to set up my main gu my guided journals. And I also want to set up my pre-planned notebook, which I'm going to probably do that last because I want to kind of talk about that a little bit. We are going to start with my reading journal. Um, these are the pages that are going to be going into here. I... I'm trying to remember everything that I printed out, but I don't think that everything is gonna go in here. I think a couple pages are gonna go in the very back with like my extra pages. Um, but yeah, so let me kind of, um, oh, by the way, link down below for my the video where I put this together. Um, one of the pages that I created is a top book of 2024. This is like, a fun bracket. Um, I just realized I don't have my months over here, but it's basically going to be like January through June and then July through December. And then I pick my favorite from each of them until I get to my very top favorite of the year. Um, yeah, so I will plug What I'm most likely going to do is I'm going to find some stickers to put the months on the side. And that one is going to be going right in front of this page. So it'll basically look just like that. So let's go ahead and glue this together. Um, apparently I didn't cut it the exact size, but honestly, I'm okay with that. And also, I what I'm going to try to do, um, and I'll kind of explain more about this shortly, but I'm going to, I'm going to actually update all of my reading journal pages. And I'm going to do this before I officially release them on Etsy, but I'm going to update them to allow for them to print in the middle of the page so then that way they can be able to be printed double-sided. So I know that's going to be a lot of work, but I'm I'm really excited to do that because I want when I when I go to release them, and especially if I'm going to be using these for future years as well, I want to make it be super easy to print these double-sided. So then that way, I'm not having to worry about taping pages together. <laughs> okay, so we have my top book of 2024, and I think that that's going to be like a perfect end to my yearly pages before we jump into the monthly calendars. The next one that I created is this review page. Um, so this is different than, oh wait, I haven't shown you guys the other pages that I created. So if you've watched my reading journal video, you would not have seen this, but I basically created a low spend tracker so I can be able to set myself some rules, set myself a goal. But basically 2024 is going to be a low spend on books. Um, I haven't quite figured out what I want to set the rules on, but this is going to be like a tracker for each month. And I have 12. I have six of them with each one has two pages. So 12 pages total. And then, let's see if I can figure out where I put it. Oh, maybe I didn't put them in here. Yes, I did, right here. Then I also have these book rating pages. So basically, these pages, I got space to put a photo of the book. And then I will... I will either be drawing the stickers myself or drawing the stars myself or I'm going to be using this star washi tape to be able to kind of like put how many stars that it is. Um, I may even try to find like a stamp 
but I can be able to do the star rating, do the title of the book, the author, and the dates that I read it. So then I've got those book rating pages in here, just because I don't really like to write like long reviews in my, my journal. But to go in my Etsy shop, for those who do like to write long reviews, I've got this. So dates read, the title, the author, got space to write your review, and then stars at the bottom. So I'm really, I just really like the idea of, of having that in there. So I also have a book rating scale and I thought it'd be fun. These are kind of like reference pages. For those that like to read romance, that is Open Door, a spice rating scale. Um, so when I go to like actually set up my reading journal, I'll kind of go more into that. But I am thinking that's going to go in the very front because it's kind of like, I think this would just kind of be something that I'm going to fill out how many stars and then how I am rating that. So what do I consider to be a one star book, which is usually like a DNF for me? What do I consider to be a two star? What do I consider to be a three star, etc.? cetera? Um, these next pages, the next two pages, couple pages. These are going to be going actually in the back because I'm not going to use them. But um, in mine, I have these monthly TBR pages. So I created because I mean, I can read sometimes upwards of I can read upwards of like between 10 to 20 books a month. So I have I think these ones have 13 on them total but these are pages that you can use as books read but I was thinking what about for the one maybe they don't read more than 10 books so I have these monthly TBR pages where it's January February you know like all the months six months each one has 10 then you also have a books read that is the same set up the same exact way that has six month six months per page with up to 10 books. So this is kind of for you like your more casual reader. But those are gonna go in the back because I'm not gonna be using those. I'm just trying to give like more options um, for, like I said, the more casual reader. All right, so now we have my book club monthly reads page. This is gonna go in front of my book club reads. Ooh, I need to print out multiple of these actually. <laughs> because like if I have, if I'm in multiple book clubs, I kind of need multiple of these. So these, this will correspond with my book club reads where I can actually put like a picture of the book that we read each month. And then I have this challenge page, which is 24 books in 2024. So basically, um, at the beginning of the year, I am going to pick out 24 books, or I'm probably gonna do it like before the beginning of the year, but I'm gonna pick out 24 books that I absolutely want to read in 2024. And then I can be able to check that book off once I've read it. So I, haven't decided whether I'm just going to go ahead and put the picture down or maybe I'll put like a half sheet and I'll write the title down. Um, I'm going to figure that out before. But yeah, so I've got that one. And I'm like looking at this. I'm like looking at some of these pages. I'm like, I think I cut these really badly <laughs> compared to these other ones. Okay, that's okay. But yeah, so there's are, those are my new my new pages. I don't know. I think it's just fun. And that's all for my reading journal. I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it, but we will kind of see how the year goes. It's a nice chunky reading journal. And yeah, so like I mentioned, I'm going to try to figure out how I can make it so the page that I create, like the design that I create is right in the center of the page. 
Um, and it's actually an idea that I got from Amy Plans Things. Um, she's going to be linked down below. Definitely recommend checking out her site, her, her YouTube. She has an Etsy shop. But she creates these... Um, She creates these monthly habit tracker pages. So um, she actually gifted me the one for June because I was the one who recommended the cozy books theme and my choice was the one that won. So she has a cover page, a goals page, a mood tracker, a habit tracker, a step tracker, a water tracker, a sleep tracker, a gratitude log, 31 day challenge, self-care bingo, and then just like a reflection page, a month in review, and then she just has this fun quote design page. But yeah, so she releases these every single month. Um, she actually has additional like two freebie pages that I helped her create. I kind of told her I wanted to um, include a freebie created by myself. Um, so yeah, definitely check out her Etsy shop. It will be linked down below. And if you want to purchase it from her, I definitely highly recommend it. Um, but I was talking to her and because I'm like, I was really impressed with how she put her printables together because of the fact that I was able to print it out double-sided. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna kind of pick her brain and see how I can make my pages better. But um for this, I'm going to put together my Hello Happy Journaling Guided Journal and my Goals Guided Journal. So when I go to create my Guided Journal Franken Planner, not only will it include her monthly bundle, but it will just be really easy to grab what I need. So each of these guided journals comes with four months worth. And I have all the months in here, but what I want to do is I basically want to set it up so when I when I go to grab when I go to grab it out of the planner I can go ahead and grab both the journaling and the goals so I'm going to put basically two journaling in this one two goals in this one and same for this one but I'm going to put it to where they are both lined up together this will also help me so when I go to when I go to actually like set these up for the month, I can be able to set them up together. So we've got those two, and then I'm going to put in. I'm going to keep this one in. I'm going to go ahead and take out the third month. And we're gonna take out, I guess I gotta take it out all, take out all of it, don't I? But yeah, just kind of putting these, putting these together in a way that just makes it a lot easier for you. It just means that, wait, hold on. Hold, yeah, that's right. Um, it just basically means that when you go to do your Franken planner, it's gonna be a lot quicker process and a lot more seamless process. I'm not putting in the fourth month yet. Before I do that, I want to take the second month from the goals because that's going to go in here after the second month for the journaling. And then in this notebook, I have the third month of the journaling, third month of the goals, and then right here is going to go the fourth month of the journaling. I think Benny's telling me he wants to be on camera. All right, so there we go. So now um, this one, it's not going to be touched until March. Um, this, I'm going to go ahead and put into the beginning of this guided journal. So then that way, 
when I go to set up January, I can just grab this chunk right here. And then when she releases the February, I will purchase it, print it, and then put it in front of those two months. So I would definitely like to use this every single month. We'll kind of see how January goes um, and hopefully I can be able to build that habit. But these are ready and I will be putting them with my regular planners. Finally, we're gonna talk about my pre-planning notebook. So I actually have, have decided like, oh, before I share with you what I've been using for like the past couple weeks, let me share with you what I was using before. So I have the Simply Layout, which I love it because, I mean, it's a super simple layout. Um, you have your monthly calendar, and then you have the, da the weekly dashboard page, but that's it. You don't have that extra page that came in the dashboard. Um, let's see if I can find one to show you. So this is what the regular dashboard looks like. This is literally all you get with the Simply Layout. So I really like this because this way, with this, I can be able to document ahead of time things that are scheduled that I need to keep in mind. So if I have doctor's appointments, um, if there's something that I need to make sure to post, I can be able to write it, write it ahead. And I, you know, I just, this ends up being trashed at the end of the, the month anyways. So it's not like it's something that I'm decorating, but it's literally for pre-planning. So last, for like the past couple months, I have been using the Simply Layout and I've been pairing it with using just some bunch of filler paper. So I had these half sheets, these to-do sheets, um, just kind of depending on what, what it was, I may have used these daily sheets, these planning sheets, etc. What I want to do instead is I want to completely change it up. I still want to use the Simply Layout, but I have been using a dot grid. Um, this is from Archer and Olive, and I've basically been using this for kind of just writing down things that I want to keep in mind. Um, and I really like this. So I'm going to continue to use this. I'm going to do the Simply Layout, but I think we're going to end up removing a lot of the filler paper. And my intention with creating this notebook is that it's not going to be something that I'm necessarily going to be um, updating often. Like I'm not going to be setting it up every single month, but it's going to be something that's going to be set up for the next six months. And then it stays like that until I have to buy another Simply Layout because my Simply Layout ends after June, I believe. So in here, um, I'm going to take out from this Simply Layout because I had stuck all of these in there, like these little stencils. I'm going to go ahead and keep them in this planner just because I like to have those available. I think it really just kind of depends on my mood, whether I use them or not. But this way, if I want to use them, they will be super easy reach. And one, one more. All right, so now I am going to put, I'm gonna take this out, move this because I want to go ahead and put this all six months that I have remaining of this planner into here. I'm going to ignore a lot of these extra pages. Oh, another one. I have so many of them. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Um, by the way, I'm taking that out too, but let's go ahead. I think we can put in two months at a time, just because it's so thin. Um, March and April. And then yeah, all the way through June, 
And as you see, I've been using this page for like marker swatches. I love having note paper just for that. All right, so we've got that set up. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to do the extra pages back here. So to be perfectly honest with you, I've kind of taken a break from using these project to-dos, but I'm going to leave some in there, but I'm not gonna leave in there as many as what I have. Um, a huge part of me also wants to like put them behind these frosted covers. So we're gonna put those right there. I'm taking these daily sheets out just because um, while I used a couple of them, I didn't really use them as much as I expected. I think I'm gonna leave in these ones because I do like this for kind of like breaking down a project. I'm gonna take this out because I'm taking out these pages. I'm taking out this one because I am taking out these daily pages. And because I haven't been using um, for like my dump list, my brain dump list, since I've been using the Docker notebook and that's working really well, I'm also taking out these. So now basically all that I have is the, the plan pages, the project to do's because I do like these um, for some stuff and we'll kind of see how I use them next year. But now it's just a super simple pre-planned notebook. I'm not gonna have to touch it, and like with the exception of the end of the month, getting rid of everything for the previous month. And like I like knowing that I have a notebook that I don't have to update or franken plan every single month. And then these will be used for pre-planning. So there we go. We have my pre-planning notebook done until July. We have my guided journals done for January through April. And my reading journal has the additional pages put in. And now it's just basically time to get it ready for January. So that's my next step. If you guys have any questions about how I prep my planners, um, before the beginning of the year, drop me a comment. I'm happy to answer it. Um, but let me know, question of the video, what kind of prep do you do for your planners to get yourself ready for the new year? Thank you guys so much. Thumbs up, subscribe, click that notification bell, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.